Good morning. Uh, today we're going to do a demonstration uh, on the brand new geometry that uh, we have ascertained uh, is appropriate going forward now for our uh, Russian PVC pyramids. Uh, if you have not seen the previous video, uh, which we've titled Russian Pyramids and Sacred Geometry, uh, I'd suggest that you go and look at that uh, if you want the details. But in summary, uh, after uh, finally finding uh, Dr. Golod's website last week and doing some research on um, uh, the research of uh, Dr. Uh, Anatoly Akimov uh, from Russia, uh, we determined and the basis for uh, figuring out how phi is related to uh, Russian geometry pyramids. And I'm not going to go into all the details, but basically what we've determined uh, based on Dr. Akimov's research is that the most effective uh, geometry for uh, a cone, which is nothing more than an infinite uh, pyramid with an infinite number of sides to it, is a phi ratio based uh, cone. And when you think about it, that means putting circles that are progressively smaller into a pyramid and stacking them up. We've done that research, so go see that other video to talk about it. But what we're going to do now is to uh, demonstrate in the following segment. Uh, we've taken two uh, six foot pyramids. Uh, we have uh, uh, modified one of them, and uh, we have uh, have also uh, maintained the uh, traditional ratio of 2.02 .02 on the other to show you uh, the differential. Uh, as you'll see, the uh, differential in energy fields as measured by the Lecker antenna is quite dramatic. So uh, uh, look forward to your comments, but uh, watch the next uh, section of the video and you'll see what we're talking about. Okay, we have set up uh, two six-foot pyramids uh, in our dining room to use as the basis for our test. In the foreground, you see the pyramid that we have readjusted to the new 76.345 degree angle uh, that we calculated uh, using the, the methodology that we discussed uh, earlier and in the background we have the pyramid with the configuration of the 76.1 degrees which represents the height to uh, base length ratio of 2.02 .02, as described uh, in uh, the Russian pyramid research. If you can tell, I don't know if you can, but there's a very slight difference that is, is discernible uh, when you're visualizing these two pyramids uh, in person. This one is just slightly wider, 0.66 uh, inches on each side longer than the, uh, the new pyramid using the uh, phi ratio geometry uh, using the circles. So uh, there's also about an eighth of an inch uh, shorter height. Uh, it's actually uh, 15 one hundredths of an inch shorter on the length and that's necessitated by the fact that the um, base is smaller and therefore uh, the length of the uh, vertical pieces needs to be reduced in order to keep it at six feet. So again we have two six feet pyramids. Uh, we're going to test the energy fields of each of them. We're going to start with the uh, Russian pyramid that's used uh, that's using the standard 2.02 .02 height to base length. If you notice the uh, the energy field starts at about one third of the way down, as uh, detected by the Lecker antenna, uh, and this is uh, conforms with. Uh, what has happened in our previous videos where we have uh, done a similar type of uh, uh, analysis on universal energy. So again, coming at about one-third of the way down, we're now testing on the inside of the pyramid, and we can see, uh, again, the Lecker antenna just a little bit above halfway down uh, comes down. 
uh, very much uh, consistent with what we've seen before. Now we're going to go over and test the new um, phi ratio pyramid uh, using the circle methodology to determine the 76.345 slant angle. As you can see, already the, the uh, Lecker antenna much higher up is uh, detecting the energy field. Uh, in fact, it's detecting it right above the pyramid. So clearly a much more enhanced field uh, being detected by the Lecker antenna. We're gonna follow it all the way down and yep, much, much higher. Now we're going to go into the inside after the, testing the top of the pyramid. Much, much more energy coming off of that pyramid. Now we're going to check on the inside. And we're going to see, yes, the uh, Lecker is coming down at a much higher point uh, than it was in the other pyramid, demonstrating a much more robust uh, energy field. Looks like the uh, pyramid geometry of the future is going to uh, include these modifications. And uh, we're very excited about the fact that we have determined this enhancement that's going to make your pyramids even more effective going forward. Now that you've seen the uh, dramatic difference in the uh, energy fields from these two uh, pyramids, uh, it's obvious that uh, from this point forward, we're going to be uh, sending all of our pyramids out uh, based upon uh, cutting uh, the pipe on the new geometry that we've now ascertained is actually uh, the appropriate one. And um, what we're going to do uh, is I'll be posting a video as well in the near future for those of you who would like to take your existing pyramids and uh, uh, modify them to this uh, new geometry. We're, we'll be putting out some information in video form and also on the website on how to do that. And as soon as we have a chance, we'll also be uh, changing all of the uh, information on the website to conform to this exciting new uh, understanding uh, of the geometry of the pyramids. But in the interim, if any of you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. I'll be happy to help you and walk you through uh, uh, what you might need to do to uh, modify your existing pyramid to supercharge it up. Hope this is helpful. Have a great day.